modeling a machine block using Creo parametric software. This video is for beginners like students who are interested to learn modeling software. So here you will see a component with a base support on both sides and an interesting slanting surface in the middle. So quick and easy modeling techniques are used here. The same component can be modeled by various methods. So the three dimensional isometric view of the component is given to understand the component easily. Let us move to the video now. Okay, let us understand this drawing first. So it's an interesting component. So where uh, some critical features are uh, given. So in, in basic it is uh, like a rectangular block uh, with some uh, base support uh, to be you know, fixed uh, on both sides. So it is a symmetrical component so we can use it, uh, uh, we can mirror it. But first we have to model the center block and here you can see it's like a U shape but on the other side it is not U. So which means it is not a single extrude. No, When you extrude it, I will get this uh, block but in the base again there is another feature. Okay, so in the base you see it is an, uh, it is not a true, there is a uh, tapper uh, section. Say if we, if we extrude, if we draw just the top side where you have a U, top view where you have a U shape, the top portion, if you uh, sketch that and extrude, no, you will get a complete thing till the bottom. But uh, in the base, you see there is some projection and uh, no, and there is an incline. So it is, uh, it is not easy to model it by the conventional methods. So probably, uh, no, there is another interesting uh, feature interestingly you know if you just create a, a rectangular block first we, we carefully understand the component and then we draw it easily see the 10 mm in the top the 10 mm is on both sides in the bottom also there is a height of 10 mm but all this is coming by subtracting the portion in the there okay from a rectangular block a slanting portion a triangle you can see in the uh, here this portion is subtracted if you just uh, remove this portion, no, you will be able to get this shape from a rectangular block. So modeling a rectangular block is easy. You can model it in a single feature. Then if you remove this particular uh, slanting area, then this component will be obtained. But we have to draw that lines carefully. Okay, so this one, uh, this uh, first we will draw this uh, rectangular. Uh, actually, in fact, it's a uh, uh, is it a square? No. 40. Here it is 30 plus 10 plus 10. So totally it is 30, 50. Okay. 50 cross 40. So we will create a rectangle for 50 cross 40. Okay. Extrude it for a height of 60. The complete 60. So you can select even the base, the sketching plane as the base. Draw a rectangle for 50 cross 40. Extrude it for a height of 60. We will do that first. So as usual. Go to new part, okay. So go to sketch, select the sketching plane, new sketch, and sketch view. Okay, whenever you have doubts, you go and move the cursor and stay there above that icon for some time, it will come. So select sketch view. Now you have sketch view, we will draw a A rectangle but it should be in the center okay so this should be 50 and should be in the center it is 25 so this is compulsory so 50 and this one 25 now this distance is given 40 okay assemble rectangle finish it go to extrude extrude it for the height of 60 60 okay so you have to extrude it for a height of 60 finish it so this is just a rectangular block now we will make this slanting portion okay so we are going to select this in the middle okay draw only this particular triangle which is going to be removed okay for that we need to draw a line this slanting line which is at a 
10 mm from this side okay 10 mm from the back side it is 10 mm inside here okay in the in the base it is 10 mm above so we'll draw a line like that 10 mm inside from here but on the top plane but in the bottom it is vertically 10 mm above okay it's, but it's not in the bottom it is vertically above so like this we will draw this line first and then close the remaining the draw two lines to close this triangle and remove this portion using symmetry on both sides okay we are drawing the center plane and uh, using uh, symmetry we will remove material on both sides so we will get this feature okay so we will go to sketch sketch carefully select this plane in the center this is very very important the sketching plane is the center plane sketch sketch view okay for our convenience you can go for the wireframe you click here display style there is a, a hidden line or wireframe line so we will select this for our convenience now we are going to draw a line in this horizontal the top surface some distance away and here it should not come to this bottom line or not this corner it should be here okay so this is very very important carefully observe okay come out of this line you escape and come out of this line or press middle button there should be some distance here but not in the back side in the front this distance is 10 and here in the bottom this angle is not given we will go for dimension create a dimension between the bottom to this line this is 10 so here it is 10 away in the tops here it is 10 up in the vertical once you complete this it is easy come out of the dimension command escape go to line close this portion okay draw this line horizontal and this one now we have drawn this particular triangle okay so it is in the middle see okay finish it go to extrude if you go to shading view for convenience go to shading view okay it is coming like this now we have to give that distance it is only for 30 and it is in the center symmetry use the option symmetry now you will understand okay you have to use the symmetry and a distance of 30 remove material is coming by default see say by very easily we are able to create this if you do by other way no you have to do this u shape extrude it then in the bottom there is a complete thing you have to do that okay then there is in the slanting there is a portion you have to do that okay so it will need minimum three features so this one uh, two, fe two features we are easily finished it okay done now we will do the base uh, projection see here it is uh, attachment okay with a circular uh, profile circular end and uh, two lines and you can see there the in the back side this straight line is connecting okay it's merging it is aligning with the back side but in the front it is not aligning there is a gap okay the height is 10 height of x we will draw try to draw this profile the profile will just draw this circle first okay so it's a r15 so dia uh, 30 will draw a circle and draw lines to align here okay in the back side it is aligning for a distance of 20 so the center the whole or the circle center is at a distance of 20 from the sides so we will draw this circle and uh, may draw this line and we will draw uh, another tangent line from this side oh, so okay it should be tangent and joining here there will be some gap the distance is not uh, given it is even not uh, we are not interested of that okay so we will draw this this profile and extrude it for 10 mm maybe you can even do the whole along with that in the same center you draw another circle for dia 10 okay hold dia 10 and extrude it you will get that then we will mirror it to get on the other side so already we have the center plane we will mirror it to the other side it is the same feature on the other side now with the third feature okay go to sketch select the bottom okay select the bottom surface go to sketch view okay it will come like this okay sketch we have to draw in this side so either here or here we are going to create that feature so if you want you can go for uh, wireframe if necessary okay so it is like this we are going to create here draw go to circle first draw a circle somewhere away here and give dimension for that so this circle dia no this is dia 30 
okay 30 and this distance it is aligning in the left okay it is aligning so this distance should be 15 okay and here this distance is not given actually the, from this line is given so go to dimension select this line and the point you create dimension this is only 20 okay so first draw this particular circle now draw lines okay from here tangent the line tangent to this up to this from here and here it should be a closed loop okay press middle button and come out of that line command now go to delete segment and delete this unwanted portion so you will get a profile like this then go to circle select this circle center point draw a circle uh, dia is given dia 10 uh, okay whole dia 10 so 10 so this is the feature we have completed this feature finish it change to shading view you can extrude it now okay extrude so we have to change the direction you can change the direction by multiple methods this is one way you can change it here also near the depth also you can change it okay it should be coming up for a distance of 10 so give the value as 10 okay we got like this so this is how our feature should be finish it now we need a copy of this okay on the other side we need a copy so go to extrude and uh, model tree select the extrude tree okay just select it mirror will come in the come uh, okay mirror will come or you can even select in the menu bar mirror will be there select mirror and then select the data template okay we'll be able to mirror so the sequence will go like this first you have to select the feature which you are going to mirror then select the mirror command and then select the data template okay. so if you do like this we will be able to mirror it okay so the object looks complex but we are able to finish it quickly go on save the component thank you for watching the video the component can be modeled in any CAD modeling software like SOLIDWORKS or CATIA or UGNX by following the same method with a minimum change in the name of the modeling tools or icons they have offered by that software all the best